Maximals, Maxwell Primal here, welcome back to South Park the Secret Troop. This might be the last video, I don't know, probably will be. <sighs> they put me having that on because, no offence, I don't really want that, I'd rather have this on because I can then use that. Cool. All the kids are battling down there. Fools! You thought you could conquer the Fortress of Darkness? Clyde, back away from that stuff! Oh, but I have yet to complete my army. You have come to witness the power of darkness. Stop! Clyde! You have no idea what that stuff is! Yeah, huh, it's green sauce from Taco Bell. I took it from their construction site. Dude, that's not Taco Bell sauce. Then why'd I find it at the Taco Bell? It leaked out of a UFO, Clyde! It's toxic goo from another galaxy! Think about it! Since when does Taco Bell have a green sauce, dude? Actually, since about a year ago. What? Taco Bell has green sauce now. No way! They've had it longer than a year. I've always gotten spicy green burritos. Yeah, no, I'm saying in the packets. They just started putting green sauce in packets. The fuck? How the fuck did I miss it? Ha ha! I don't seem so foolish now, do I? That doesn't mean okay. you have Taco Bell green sauce, dip fuck! Yeah, Clyde, why do you think that shit's glowing? Maybe because of the three varieties of chili peppers. Just give us a stick, asshole. Or what? You'll beat me up? Ha <laughs> ha! I've got another surprise for you. Uh, what's he gonna use it? That's really bad about this. He just. I'm gonna make love to you, woman. Ah! And he just revived. Get him, Commander chef. He just basically revived a dead chef, which is cruel. Yeah, but anything he could have done it like you. This all makes sweet love. Hell. The sad thing is, as well, chef does try and fight back in a weird way. It's weird, hard to explain. The chef actually does find this the Ow! nasty virus. Quite sad, really. Now, Buzz can just do his thing and hopefully we don't get cloak again. Let's see how you like dealing with me! <laughs> oh, thank god, I think I've done that with cloak for me. Been better, but fair enough. It's Let's get burned. Feel that wretched fury. the ability again see if it works. This though. Children, what have I done? You tried to eat us, Chef. The last chef's all confused. It's quite sad, really. How he's had enough. Get him, Commander. Hey, I raised you from the dead. You have to obey. Obey me. In high sin. It's really messed up as that chef does actually, even when he's dead, he's trying to stop hurt the kids. Oh, depressing actually. Children, everybody, I'm back! Enough of this! <laughs> burn them! Burn them all! Oh, 
That's a sad thing. We didn't. I didn't want to kill Chef, but we had to. He basically did it as well. Like. Are at an end, ruler of darkness. Um, okay. Um. You know what? I'm not playing anymore. You have broken the rules of the stick, and for that, I banish thee. I banish thee from space and time. Well, Clyde deserved that, especially we did the Chef as well. Ah! The Chef, you couldn't. We did it, dude. That was awesome. You did it. Your noble quest is at an end, and for all your deeds and all your time put into this, I hereby promote you to King Douchebag. Congratulations! And now King Douchebag. Quickly, now let's get the stick back to safety before anyone can do. We got him. We got the Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What the? Who? What? So it really is the Dragonborn. Just can't stop being a thorn in our side, huh? He has the stick of truth. How does this guy know you, King Douchebag? King Douchebag? Is that what you told him your name was? Why didn't you tell them your real name, Dovakin? You don't remember, do you? How we tried to find you? Look, that stick belongs with the fighters of Zaron. Give it back. Fighters of Zaron? Boys. What's going on here is much more complex than that. This isn't the first time a UFO has crashed to Earth. You see, in 1947, a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. Oh, God. Oh, brother, spare us. Hang on a sec. A UFO crashed in Roswell, and a new government agency was created to investigate the paranormal. Our agency. Can we skip this? Like, hit the skip button or something? Oh, you don't want to skip this. Yes, we do. Whenever aliens are spotted, vampires run amok, our agency is there, and we have never lost a fight. That is, until four years ago when we investigated a child. Yawn, yawn, yawn. A child who had an unnatural power inside him. I had orders from the president to secure the child so that we could harness his powers before our enemies could. But he slipped through our hands. The government wants the new kid for his farts? That's dumb. His farts? No! His amazing ability to make friends so quickly on any social network. Before he was five years old, he had 3.2 billion friends on Facebook alone. Do you have any idea the power that kind of gift yields in today's world? It's time to come with us, Dovahkiin. Time to stop resisting and use your gift for your country. Is he really still talking? Are we so different, you and I, Dovahkiin? Uh... You have to do what the government tells you to do, just like me. We're all just pawns in their game. I'll admit you are fascinating. You have more power than any child I've ever come across, and yet all you seem to really care about is this. It must be very important. What does it do? Whoever controls the stick controls the universe, dumbass. Yeah, stupid. Controls the... But then... I wouldn't have to do what I was told anymore. Okay. I could... <laughs> yes, you technically... <laughs> I control the universe! Get back! Back, I say, all of you! I can do anything! Anything I want! <laughs> I no longer need you, new kid! I control the universe! Yep. <laughs> ah, uh -huh. uh, uh, damn thing! How does it work? Show me how it works! Yeah, right. Dovahkiin. Why should we be on the opposite sides? Join me, Dovahkiin. Rule by my side. I'm not Rule. the Dragonborn. And you can I'm have this idiot. all to yourself forever. I, mean, I appreciate I can the offer idea. You all. Just get me safely out of here. You can rule with this once again. You underestimated the character of the fighters of Zaron. What binds us is more than that relic. And you failed to recognize the character of our alliance. Yes. And that friendship is more important to any of us than even the stick of truth. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> Princess Kenny! At least one of you has some sense. You'd sell us all out? But why, Princess Kenny? Because Princess Kenny was born a half-orc, whose entire village was wiped out by humans and elves. Morgan Freeman? You see... When humans and elves lived together in the forest of Hollow Falls, an elven queen fell in love with the orc known as Dandar, the first one to possess the Stick of Truth. They loved in secret and had a child. 
A beautiful little girl, a girl who watched as everyone she loved was killed in cold blood. And that is why she waited and plotted all this time to take the stick from you. For Princess Kinney is true heir to the stick of truth. Wow, that's pretty cute. Just one thing, Morgan Freeman. How come every time something convoluted needs explaining, you show up? Because every time I show up and explain something, I earn a freckle. Princess Kitty, come back here! Kenny, you son of a bitch. Yeah, this will be the last video then, because we're pretty much right near the end now. Don't need that. You know what? I need that on. There we go. No, I will sell stuff I don't need, like... Thing I need, so let's go. There's also, there's also a few other things we've got to do as well in the main game. You don't want to go down like this, Beth. Got more people to talk to as well, but I'll do that. Um, oh, of course, and the battery's low on the laptop. So <laughs> One more hit, birds, and we've done it. Oh, okay, never mind. Ooh. Buzz. <laughs> Yay, good job, Buzz. It's all over, Princess Kenny. Douchebag is too powerful for you. What's she doing? No, Kenny, don't drink that! Oh, Kenny, you stupid son of a bitch. This is it, King Douchebag! The final battle! Your buddies stand with you! I will just stand over here. Use your rainbow attack, Princess Kenny! Oh, trust me, I'll be fine. I know what I'm doing. Buzz, your turn as well. Let's see how you like dealing with me. <laughs> Brain, there you go. That's very reasonable. Hit them with the zombie vomit. You know what? You just made my job so much easier. Oh, 
I better do it Feel again. Brilliant. Death death comes so for you, Dragonborn. You'd better pray for a miracle. Oh, <laughs> Foolish princess kitty. Do you not know that death is a servant of chaos? I'll revive now, it's my fault. I fucked up. Use your rainbow attack, Princess Guinea! Buzz, do your thing and heal. Yeah, that's it, little buddy. Fight for a demon, hide! Use your oh. rainbow attack, Princess Guinea! Ah. I heal Buzz, so again. Smack in the face. But as you're not to do, hammer time. Death comes for you, Dragonborn. You'd better pray for a miracle. Right, okay. Fingers crossed I do this right this time. <laughs> Foolish Princess Kitty. Do you not know that death is a servant of chaos? Awesome. How can this be? I swear we will destroy that chaos energy is making me a little woozy. Uh, I can do it again. Don't ever fool it! It's time to fight it! Fight for a demon, hey! Use your Wait. rainbow attack, Princess Guinea! You have to do better than that! Don't ever fool it! Hey, let's keep going, huh? Ready? Aim! Fire! Fight for a demon, hey! Awesome. I think all the dying is making her tired. Keep killing her! Hit them with the zombie vomit! Oh, you're pissing me off. Here we go, Plagues of Egypt again. How long it was to be fair. Let's fuck him up. Awesome, okay. Yeah. Yes, drink your goo, Princess Kenny. You'll be invincible. That's disgusting. Drink your goo, Princess Kenny. Oh no, you don't. 
lucky shot, but no matter. Princess Kenny still has lots of tricks up her puppy sleeves. You're messing with a crit now, fool. Okay, you're right. You better go on without me. That's what happens when you kick the baby. Use your rainbow attack, Princess Kitty! No, I'll be fine, right. Come on, King Douchebag! Time to warm up the grill. Let's see. Sleep now, the whipper wheels are to be dancing. Gently now, put your my mind to rest. Wow, what a terrific audience. Wow, what a terrific target. I better heal Jimmy then quickly. Do it. For all the fight for a demon hide. Hit them with the zombie vomit. They start to fight it. Jimmy again, because again I want to make sure he's alright. Give these vermin a taste of their own medicine, Princess Kinney! Oh, here we go. No! Where are you going with Princess Kinney's rat, damn you! Come on, let's do this! Ooh, I better catch, catch my breath. Oh, so he's brought the mice back to the one side, okay. Oh, and he's back up again. <laughs> How many times? She doesn't stay dead. We can't beat her. Till we're fucked. There's no way. There is one way. We're gonna have to break the gentleman's code. What? Carmen, you can't possibly mean. What other choice do we have, Cal? King Douchebag, you remember long ago, I made you swear an oath to never fart on anyone's boss. I am now asking you to break that oath. He's right, it's our only chance. Fart on Princess Kitty's boss, King Douchebag! Do it! No choice. Now, King Douchebag, fart on Princess Kitty's boss! What about the gentleman's oath? Need to have magic for this. Don't be blinded by her tits. For all the And with that, we invoke the oath. We're back to normal. We're, we're cured! You're all better now, Daddy. That's right, son. The Dragonborn must have farted on a princess's balls. The Dragonborn saved us all. <laughs> I am a Dragonborn now. You guys sure about this? There's no other way. It drove our friend to madness and nearly killed us all.
So what do you guys want to play now? How about dinosaur hunters? Or pharaohs and mummies? Let's ask douchebag. What do you want to play next, dude? Screw you guys. I'm going home. Wow, what a dick. It's really weird. I don't remember Man Bear Pig being there before. Well, I'll go behind that tree. That was never there before. I swear he wasn't in the original. Unless maybe because I played as a Jew. Alright. Now, I just want to talk about the game briefly. I want to say that this game has a lot of good qualities about it. Especially like, it's like playing an episode or shit the show. When I got it at Christmas, like with the um, Back to the Butthole, you know, it was really fun to play. The only complaint I have is, um, well, my only complaint with the game is just the fact that we got content cut out because it's not appropriate, as they say. And I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, it's pathetic. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't have been locked behind something as stupid as oh. You're giving it a bullshit, it's like... No, I'm not being fucking funny. I did that just a few, like, earlier on in this part, so that's bullshit. Well, in the last part, so that's bullshit. You know what I mean? There's just no need for them to censor it. And uh, not, it's not Trey Parker and the other's fault, you know, they... Obviously, I'm sure they would have just put more in there as well, just because that's how they are, but... It's the fact that... You know, I'm sorry, I do have to say it, screw... The government and the people who and the people who the ESRB or whoever raided it and made it so we couldn't have this content. You just, I hope to God that we got, we had to pay people had to pay less for this game in the countries that got censored. Because if they didn't, then I'm sorry, it's a dick move. I just don't see the point. But I think there's no complaints. I liked it. Um. I've got, I believe I've got all the G Pokemon through the main game. Um, obviously now we've got post games, so we can do like collectible, get the remaining collectibles, get the remaining costumes, get the remaining friends we can get on, you know, the South Park Facebook thing, you know. However, I'll probably do that. And, um, we still got one more side quest, which is obviously finding the remaining um, kindergarten kids, but, you know, I'll do that in a... Um, Maximals extra mode, you know, I'll do that then um, I'm not really sure what game will be next actually after this. I'm actually gonna be Just quickly taking a look because I had a game you see um, So basically next two games, there's two games I can do, and it's either Elder Scrolls Online or Dragon Age Origins. Now, um, I'm going to pick in, uh, they're both tied for me, I did like a Vernon South Park 1, but they're both tied. So I'm going to do like a bit of a pick and choose situation and, um, you know, So, um, but yeah, so it could be the Elder Scrolls Online, and don't worry, I'll have any DLCs that I've missed out on, I'll get, um, same with Dragon Age Origins, I've played both of them, I've enjoyed them both, I've just got to see what else there is for me to do, um, but yeah, this was a very fun game. I liked everything about it. Like I said, my only complaint, again, was obviously the content because, oh, it's not appropriate. Oh, it's not good for Europe regulations. Like, yeah, fuck off. Bullshit. I'm still pissed off about it, but whatever. Um, combat was good. Costumes were cool. Characters were cool. You know, there was a lot of cool things about it. There was nothing wrong with it. And I do believe that the Fractured Behold does things a lot better as well. Um, definitely improves. But you know what, I'm glad. I mean, it's been a fun game, I'm glad that we've made progress and I'll, I'll, I do look forward to trying 
hundred percenting this game. Um, can we? Oh, cool. We can just stop the cutscene. All right. But anyway, the next game will either be Elder Scrolls Online or Dragon Age Origins. Okay, I've woken up. Cool. And we're done. The only other thing we gotta do now, obviously, is um is hide and seek, find the last two kindergarten kids. We've got nothing else to do other than collectibles. There's one more your Pokemon left. And that shouldn't be too hard to find. This is a man me looking around a bit more. And I've got an idea where he is. Um I didn't get all the equipment yet, there's still a lot missing as you guys can tell, but I think we'll be alright. We just gotta Keep looking and look at that, some of these weapons look super cool. But anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, see ya.